Uh, let me get uh, number six. Yeah. Thank you. I don't know about you guys, but I always get the sausage burrito and a number six. Of course, with some Gatorade. Stay hydrated. Just pull up to the shop. All right, guys, so let me just throw this thing away real quick before I get out. Good morning, guys. So today we got an ice machine install. I guess we got to finish it. For what I know is the ice machine head's already on the bin, and all we got to do is run the electrical and the drain. That's it. So it should be a pretty simple day. Uh, so I'm gonna try and record it as much as possible and uh, bring you guys along. But yeah, like I said, it should be pretty simple, really basic. Um, so hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, let's go. So basically, all I have to do is get those covers, turn it on, make sure it runs. That's basically it. Because, oh shit, I forgot my flashlight. But I guess the drains already ran, everything's already ran. So right now I gotta go to the roof, get model number, serial number, just to have it in my records. And go from there. All right guys, I just gotta get model number, serial number. Everything looks nice. I'm gonna take it up. Alright, let's get my number right there. Also, guys, we also built those at the shop, so that's pretty dope. But yeah, I mean, everything is good. Yep, I don't know if I'm hungry. Let's go. Hold on guys, let me try and clean this up a little bit because I'm going to be laying down here, so let me get a rag. Is there even a rag here? Anytime you guys install one of these, always make sure you take the front panel off. Check all the, the, the tape, the metal bracket that's inside here. Everything's off. There's also sometimes a, uh, like a strip of uh, tape. That goes all the way down to the bottom. So as you guys can tell, everything's off. Sure everything's nice and tight. Let me just make sure everything's proper. Okay. After they put a pretty long piece on top. I think the code for these is 12 inches, if I remember correctly, 12 inches or something like that. I have to look at the menu. Well, that's fine. Water. All right, so 
just noticed this, we're gonna need a filter, a filtration system in here, because I just got the water coming straight into the ice machine. Anytime you guys don't run a filtration system, within six months or less, all this is gonna be full of calcium and all that good stuff, so. And one of the first things to go bad, if you guys don't run a filter, is gonna be your sensors. All right, so that's number one. Uh, what else? Line set, goes in. Also guys, uh, these units come free charge. So the way you do it is you hook up your line set, pull a vacuum, braze it, and inside the system, there's some valves that you open. And that should be enough to cover the whole line set and dash machine. So, so you guys don't have to add charge to it. All right, let's turn it on. And just to remind you guys, all this is going to get cleaned up properly. Uh, all I'm going to do is just let it make sheets of ice, make sure it's running 100%. And then the maintenance guys can go ahead and clean everything up. So I'm also going to install these brackets to go here. And right there. Just put this back. All right, guys. So now let's go ahead and turn it on. Thank you, much. Make sure the breaker is on. Ice machine. Ice machine. All right, so right now it's dumping out the water. Make sure there's no leaks. Looks good. So now what it's doing, I don't know if you guys can tell, but Get it filled up with water, and once it gets filled up, we're gonna start seeing water dripping down. And the way this ice machine knows when it's a full bin, that sensor right there. Once the ice reaches that sensor, it's gonna go ahead and shut up the whole the whole unit. So. So we're flowing. Everything going good. And also, guys, just a reminder: everything here is gonna get cleaned up. So just keep that in mind. It looks pretty messy right now, but everything's gonna get cleaned up. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start the turn. It should take about 15 minutes, 12 to 15 first cycle and then after that it should be like around the 12 minutes 12 minute mark so usually the first cycle it's always the, the funkiest all right guys so i had to come up to the roof uh my water it wasn't getting cold enough so came up to the roof nothing's wired up so What I was told the electrician did all this, so I guess it wasn't true. I mean, I don't mind it. I mean, it's part of our area if it's on the unit itself, so it really doesn't matter. So let me go get some tools and uh, wire this thing up. Like I said, guys, I mean, they didn't wire it, so I mean, it's super basic. 
So it should be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in this little loop and uh, come back, zip tie it, put tape on it, make sure everything's secure. Let me just verify everything's nice and tight. Okay. Let me verify everything here just to make sure the caps are on. Yeah, guys, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and come back, put tape on here, zip tie it, I'll make it look nice and pretty. And then uh, go from there. All right, guys, so moment of truth. Perfect. All right, water dripping down. Let's go ahead and set the tile again. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go up to the roof, make sure everything's running 100%. Fans are running, compressors running. Oh, but you look still. All right, so let's go up there. Wow, I can hear the compressor running. The fan is running. Also guys, when it comes to pressures, checking them on the ice machine, I usually never check them unless my water is warm or my unit is short cycling, things like that. Uh, the reason why is because I don't have the smart probes that you hook up and you're not gonna let no refrigerator get out leak out basically um but yeah i mean i never check it unless there's something wrong with the ice machine if it's dropping ice every 12 minutes perfect respects then there's really no reason for you to check the pressures unless it's a service call and you're trying to figure out a big issue things like that oh yeah it's looking good nine minutes they should be around the 12 minute mark oh right there 10 minutes. Like I said, guys, usually the first cycle is usually the funkiest. That's why you want to wait at least three cycles. But it should be good. I can hear the water getting done. Yep, perfect. We good. Alright guys, second cycle. Super important you guys keep track of everything. Especially the time. Looking good. Super rare guys when you got the company vehicle right beside the unit. I remember my other company I had to walk like three blocks down to just find parking and it sucks. I mean, I still do, but once in a while I get the little break. It was good. Crazy how unorganized my dog is. Crazy unorganized. Also, guys, update on the van. Um, that box is gonna be coming out this week because we have inventory. So right after that comes out, I wanna be able to finish everything up. So. Also, I'm really liking this little organizer. Pretty cool. Nothing falls off. The way you do it, you unlock it. Unlock. Uh, I need to organize this. All right, guys, just did a little quick cleaning on it. The trim.
I'm not gonna keep this bag because it's too bulky and I honestly hate that. So, until I replace my Vito bag, this is it right here. Stop. Ten minutes from five to about ten. So let me go ahead and call factory, but I'm pretty sure this type of washing machine is about ten to twelve minutes each cycle. Uh, so yeah, let me go ahead and give them a call just to verify and uh, see so what can we get. All right, guys. So I got the side panels. Basically, they're gonna go right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I glue them. Do that whole thing. So I thought I was done and then realized I had all this water. I looked down there and this pipe was broken. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a new one in, put the panels back in. Everything's running fine. Covers are on, and we should be good. Right, let's make sure this thing's leveled. We're good. We're good. So now let's go ahead and put the panels back in. Mm -hmm. Then that's in. Let me go ahead and turn it on before I leave. We'll let that shit of ice just drop. Good, everything's off. Make it nice. All right. Let's go. Feels so good knowing that the band's there. Only a couple feet away. Damn. Okay, so things I'm gonna recommend are filters, and that should be it. Everything looks pretty good. Do, 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 do. Like I told you guys, it was gonna be a quick, simple one. Um, only recommendation that I'm doing is just the filtration system. I'd say everything else is perfectly fine. Uh, what else? What else? Pressures. Like I said, I'm not gonna. Ch I didn't check them because there's really no point. Uh, it's dropping ice every 10 to 12 minutes per factory spec, so there's really absolutely no point for you to check pressures. So yeah, right. Unit is running fine. I ended up shutting it off because the guy, like I said, he's gonna go ahead and clean everything now, and uh, that should be it. I'm on my way to the shop right now. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fill, but I don't think so because uh, I'm trying to get that job done. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, peace.